Hi, everybody. I'm Steve Pond from The Wrap, and we're happy to have you here for our award screening of Safe Place, which is Croatia's entry in the Oscars Best International Feature Film category. We're going to show you the trailer, and then we'll go right into a conversation with our guests. Uh, to the audience, please participate in the live chat, throw, share your thoughts about the film, and, and let us know where you're tuning in from. Now, before we introduce our guests, let's take a look at the trailer. Vicky, ako ne do vrata. Welcome back. It's my pleasure to introduce director and actor Yuri Leretech and actor Goran Markovic. Welcome, both of you, and, and thanks for um, thanks for joining us here, and and thanks for a, a really powerful film. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Um, Yuri, I want to start with with you. I mean, this obviously is it's it's a very strong film about what a family goes through after a suicide attempt. Um, right. Now, this was based on a story from your own family? Uh, yes, that's right. It's based like, uh, it's it's not really a reconstruction. It's more like a distillation of uh, the events that happens to my family. But yeah, as you said, it's, it has uh, like uh, autobiographic uh, sources or source. Mm -hmm. Right. So was it hard to make that decision to take something that was, that was so personal and, and painful and turn it into something you were going to share with people? Yeah, it was. It was hard. It was like I, when I was starting to writing it, I didn't think about it like an art project. But I think it's a good start for every project not to think about it like an art project. So I, I was writing it for myself, you know. And But somehow then I thought, oh, I'm writing it, but no, I'm going to show it to no one, you know. And then when I wrote it, then I said, okay, I wrote it but no, no producer would like it, you know, but the producer like it. And then I thought, oh, okay, but we get no money, but we get the money. So I think I was the only one I was sabotaging this project, you know? <laughs> so, but as you said, uh, it was not easy on, and it's maybe best to describe now when we are showing the movie, you know, then people come to us or to me and says, uh, oh, I mean, I congratulate, congratulate, you know, but if I can say it like this, you know, because they are there, or they say it's a, it's such a, it's such a great movie. I enjoy it, and the, I mean, I don't enjoy it. It's horrible. It's horrible. That something happens to me. So they are this, the, the whole time between fiction and and the reality, reality. You know. So that was my position during the whole uh, making of the whole movie, and I would say also during this interview. You know. <laughs> so I, I, I'm, I'm not sure should I talk about it or not. You know. So it's a little bit, yeah, but. Uh, I just uh, go go along with this uh, contradiction, you know. So yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, Goran, for you, I mean, does it change your approach when you're dealing with a project that is, you know, so personal to the to the guy who is not only directing you but also acting opposite you? Yeah. Well, I would say uh, the the approach is uh, more intense. Uh, the, the tools I use are always pretty much the same, but uh, it, it's more you were maybe I was a little bit scared at the beginning before we started to rehearse, uh, but uh, soon as we start, the the fear went went out of the window. So uh, because. Jurai guided me in such a way that uh, I was really uh, sure of, of everything. I even uh, gave up researching about uh, mental illnesses uh, and stuff like that because 
uh, it felt more more uh, real, more uh, to do it like that. And re researching kind of uh, pulled me away from from the material. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, your eye for you. What were you? What were you looking for in the actor to, um, you know, to to play the role of, I guess, essentially, you know, a version of of your brother. The funny thing is that uh, you know, Goran uh, went with my brother. Uh, they were in the same class, and um, when I was searching for the actors, I told we, Goran and I we met once, and I told him, you know, just to lower lower the pressure. I told him, you know, I'm sure that's not you. You know, so let's drink coffee, but we don't have to rehearse because I don't know. I had the feeling. I don't know why, you know, I don't know why. Maybe it was to me too close to reality, you know, because they were so close. Mm -hmm. But I also had a feeling that's simply not Goran. You know, when you cast, you follow your intuition. And but um, to come closer to your question, when I was searching for the actor who would play uh, this um, this version of my brother, I realized that I have to find somebody uh, who somehow um, shows vitality, you know, who is not, you know, this guy, maybe like me, you know, a bit, little bit, you know, tinny guy, you know, from the, you know, from the last row in the class, you know, because then you can read him very easily. You just say, oh, okay, he's doing a little bit, you know, dope and something. So I, I, I realized that I have to find somebody who's really like Goran, who shines in a way, like a sun, I don't know, to be pathetic, who shines, and then somehow crash him into this, um, let's call it banal depression, because then it becomes like complex, you know? So I was for a while blind about it. And then uh, in at one, I came again to my hometown where Goran lives, and this Goran said, okay, but let's try. And I said, okay, let's try, you know? <laughs> and then we try in two days, we were like very far away for my sense, uh, how should a rehearse go? And then I quit to rehearse with anybody else and just tried with uh, Goran, yeah. Mm -hmm. so, and it was like a long co casting process then after it, but I don't know, are you interested in, in, in that or something else? Yeah. Um, well. Karan, for you, what does it what does it do when you sit down with a director to talk about a role, and the first thing he says is, "I'm sure it's not you." Well, we uh, we didn't sit down to talk about the, the role. We sat down because we were together drinking coffee, and uh, but, and there was a tension, and then, and then was the <laughs> tension. I knew he wrote something, and uh, I knew it was about the situation. Uh, about his brother, and I said to him, I, I, I want to be a part of it. It doesn't matter how. I can act, I can help around the, the set, uh, whatever. I just want to be, and he said to me, yeah, I, I, I think, uh, I'm not sure, I'm, not, I'm pretty sure that uh, you are not the guy. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I said, okay, all right, I, I accept it. Uh, yeah, but he said also it's uh, to our bo both. Uh, how do you, how did did you say it? Uh, say it uh, like uh, he was displeased that 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 to find out that I'm not the the, the guy who will play who will play that part. Uh, yeah, but and he he felt like probably uh, my my. Uh, uh, wish to to be a part of it and then he said okay let's try it and so he gave me the script i read it and i was blown away by it and we started on a journey and we, here we are right um so you're right what was the writing process like i mean did it take a did it take a long time was it a, was it a difficult thing to write so what I do usually is that I like write things down, fragments of reality, you know, and when I, when my brother died, I just continued to do it. So I write like fragments I saw in the mortuary or, or bizarre things at the funeral ceremony and stuff like that. And I think I was doing that for like maybe a half year, you know, just to somehow to 
to write about what I'm what I feel, and uh, that was some kind like the material, you know. And then uh, I said, okay, let's try, you know, to write a script in a way. And I was thinking um, when I was thinking about the dramatic form, you know, um, I had the feeling. Because I, I thought about, I think you have to thought about the, the, the form like, like it's, it has somehow, somehow to reflect this subject, you know. And when I was thinking about, okay, if, if the subject is trauma, you know, with dramatic form should the trauma have? So I thought, thought it has to be something very solid, you know, but with the whole, you know, with, with the rift in it. Because trauma is a rift in a everyday life, you know, it's like uh, suddenly so... So that's why it, it's like um, we follow 24 hours hour of that family, but in that uh, in the 20 minutes there is like a rift. Um, somehow we leave this solid uh, ground of fiction and go into meta film and into autobiographic and auto reference. You know, so um, so I try somehow to damage the dramatic form like the life of the protagonist is damaged by the trauma. So that was like, you know, I, I have to figure out the form. And then when I have the form, it goes pretty easy, I would say, you know. The, um, another problem was how to show the love between us. And then I realized that it, that it has to be, that I have to show it in um, Damir's delusion, you know. Because in delusion, in the way that he, for instance, he thinks that we are together some kind of evil, you know. So in real life, we will find something, some joy together, and, and we will be in some joy together. But in the delusions, he thinks that we are, you know, uh, some kind of evil together. So I try through this somehow to to see to, to that the viewer feel that also in do, those situations he saw he sees somehow us together you know so that was somehow the the main questions i would say you mm -hmm. know the form and then yeah stuff like that but uh, to put it like in a in a timeline it was all together maybe a year also uh, half of year to find the material and then half of year to write the script yeah. right so as you started thinking about about making it was it always clear to you that you would want to play that role as well as directing the film no not at all you know i was uh i i tried to cast the role and i'm sure that they were like uh, really great actors you know but i think i have like i have had like a, a blind spot you know and i think the the my experience was of that and my experience of this character to to say it like that was too close to me so i couldn't accept interpretation of another person of another actor you know and so i struggled with that like for a half of year trying to 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 cast and but you know simply it it uh, I, I i was not sure about it and the casting process was looking like that that i somehow invited the actors for every role you know and throw back the the lines you know and so i realized that that I, that if I'm doing it like a robot, you know, that then the actors are also, they cannot be, you know, right. So, so I, I start to um, taking care of my own interpretation. And then uh, the people I was working with, um, they saw it and I was just in the off, you know, in the, just as a voice. And they told me, okay, why don't you try to, to, to turn the camera on you, on yourself, you know, because you sound good. You know? mm -hmm. And then we try it. And somehow from, from that came the decision that I play it. It was not easy and not an easy decision. But I think it was the right decision because, you know, we throw us in a kind of adventure. But we, I think we were all together sure that it should be me, you know. And we were mm -hmm. aware of the risks. But we said, okay. And for the other, you know, if we, if we, if we, we had took another actor, then it was like from the start, we, it was like a compromise in a way, you know? So we said, okay, I'm going to be it. And, you know, we see who survived it or not, you know, in that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Um, yeah. Well, 
Garan, for you, what what's it like getting your you know your 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 notes from the guy you're acting with? It's very strange. I mean, strange. It's difficult for me to when uh, uh, when someone asked me for uh, advice on how to act, and I'm in the same scene. It's I can't imagine doing that. It's pretty hard for me. So it, well, when he said to me that. That, that he's thinking about it, I was uh, I was like, okay, but are you sure? Because you have to direct, you have to talk to other people, you have to do, do so many decisions that are important and acting is, especially this kind of part, uh, is it's not a piece of cake. Uh, but I, I knew that he could do it because uh, on the rehearsals, I saw him and I was watching him in the eyes he 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 was always playing the older brother with me and uh she she changes the intonation of of the lines and like a real i mean real actor he is a, he is a <laughs> one by now and so I wasn't afraid of the quality of acting I was just uh, afraid for, <laughs> for the <things>. directing <laughs> for for if he can handle all of it, um, but uh, now uh, I'm uh, during the shooting. I was I was sure that we we got that we got the part that he's the right guy and, uh, to act with somebody that that has gone through those situations for real, and you know you know him. Uh, it's it's cool, cool. it's a different thing. To watch somebody in the eyes, and uh, it's uh, the whole film in this movie is like on the verge of acting and the real life. So uh, it's a pre pretty uh, interesting thing to be a part of as an actor. Yeah, um, I mean, you're uh, for you. Are you able to? split your focus like that when you're acting are you are you also thinking about what you want to you know notes that you want to give to to Goran or uh it's interesting you know you because um uh for me it was it it's hard to split you know it's hard <laughs> to split but on the other hand i got another tool you know because um as a director you have to comment the whole time you know you know, comment, blah, 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 you know, and after the shooting, after, you know, three days of shooting, you're sick of your voice, you know, exactly. so you can hear. And generally in this era of commenting, you know, it's somehow it's it's too much. And it's really like a relief when you can just play it, you know, when you get into the scene, you know, and play it. And I got through this um, like a direct, like a communication with the actors, which is more like like we are playing together in a band you know it's not based on comments you know it just it's based on intuition and i don't like the word energy but you know and and i can change uh, things in the scene you know without commenting i can do it live you know i can you know um, go into a scene with another energy or or even throw another line you know uh, or, or you know whatever i want so um but can I give after that uh, Goran uh, a remark? Sometimes yes, sometimes no. You know, sometimes I so, I'm so deep in a scene, or I was so deep in a scene that I couldn't. You know, I, because you 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 know that something is not right, but you don't know what. You know, and then I go back to the monitor, uh, look at the scene, and then I see it. But you know, when when you when you when you playing, you just feel okay, it's not right, but you don't know really what. You know, so you have to see it, and then mm -hmm. somehow you, it 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 comes out. Yeah, right. Was was there much improvisation in this? I mean, did things change in in the doing? Uh, not at all. Goran, mm -hmm. what do you say? No, I would also say the same thing. Uh, we just uh, improvised. I mean, in the way uh, between the lines, mm. uh, th those kind of moments. I I. I I never try to do the same take, like mm. the same way mm. and stuff like that. Uh, 
uh, although I'm I'm always somewhere pretty close to to it, uh, but uh, yeah, we did some kind of uh, uh, he threw some some lines from as a surprise from time to time that were were pretty interesting and they didn't end up in the movies <laughs> yeah but uh, they were uh everything became then more more risky you kind of felt it and it's it's uh i think it's good to ha to to have that situation on the set to to we never improvised, but we f we felt the freedom to to fail. Mm -hmm. I was never afraid to to make a f false move or, or um, and rehearsals helped a lot. Also, we rehearsed a lot, um, and I got a pretty good sense of what he wanted and what what he was uh, trying to do and. Uh, so yeah, that helped. Yeah, tremendously. Yeah, I I feel like you know scenes at the beginning of the movie when we're in the hospital, the details of of the hospital, the details of the police investigation. That all feels so specific and 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 so detailed. I I watched it thinking this, you know, is is this exactly what it was like? I mean, were you drawing from? From the details you remembered, or did you were you also you know changing things as you were writing? Yeah, I was changing things. You know, I was um, you know when I'm writing is I will I will then I also like uh, research about it. You know, mm -hmm. so from this research somehow it comes in a whole. You know, but 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 a lot of things I somehow experience it. So uh, so when you have like like the experience and all the false things, just you know. They just um, they just fall fall off if they are not true in a way you know so you really have the feeling what's right and what's not what's not right that's why you have the feeling of authenticity I would say you know not because everything was like that more because I know how it is so I can you know put something on you know and change it but it's always somehow truthful in a way yeah mm -hmm. yeah. Um, I mean, go, go on for you. I mean, this is a movie where you have to convey a lot while doing very little. I mean, he doesn't he doesn't talk much. He never raises his voice. Um, and yet he's you know, he's a person who is so troubled. What what were the keys for you in, in figuring out how to how to play this guy? Uh, as I said, on the rehearsals, I got the pretty good sense of what Yura wanted um, and that gave me then uh, an idea and then I, I, I just had to fill those uh, moments when he's silent with um, monologues with, with uh, that's inner monologues that are not said with questions and with uh, thoughts and and even sometimes answers and um, it helped to write them down. So uh, once we got to to shoot, uh, I always had something uh, to when we did many takes. I always can come back to the beginning of the the the, in, the inner monologue, the lines. Uh, the questions helped a lot because there were. Uh, very um, active, and once you try, I, uh, we talked about it. And th th when when something like that is happening to you, you you try to figure it out what it is, and how can you change that, and uh, and how, how those kind of things that uh, you feel and you do. Uh, how it reflects on your your family, the closest to you. Um, I was pretty much pretty occupied, although I I, I was passive on the outside, but the mind was that what what was uh, constantly active.
you're right. This is this is a movie where we have a lot of you know huge emotional moments that are going on, but for the most part, they are going on very quietly. I mean, no, you know, nobody in the whole film is really raising their voice until perhaps the the very end. I mean, was it always clear to you that this should this should play out sort of quietly? Yeah, exactly. We, uh, it was also it was quiet was was like a word we use in in approach to all segments of the film. Also, you know, uh, when we were talking about the image, you know, we all we just uh, we, we all, I have always the feeling, you know, it has to be in a way it, we don't have to prostitute the emotions, you know, uh, to in a way to um, that is all, all in your face, you know, we all it's just um, we wanted to create this feeling that you are watching, you know, from a distance, those people, you know, to create this feeling that they are even more lonelier, you know, so um, and they are and and they are helpless, you know, so so that helplessness and that loneliness, I think, comes from that, that the movie is so silent in a way, you know, and mm. Yeah, so somehow that was a that was a de decision, and that was also you know we tried to make it tender in the way between the between the mother and the brother. So so somehow, yeah, um, that was that was like a idea from the from the from the beginning. Even the sound the sound guy says, "Oh no, I don't know. You are speaking the whole thing so quiet." You know, <laughs> it was strange for him, but I really like it in a way. So I, it was pretty in intuitive. I didn't think about it. You know, I just heard. It has to be uh, that way, yeah. And yeah. that was also a reason why we didn't, uh, why I didn't improvise as much because you you don't want because it's everything felt so delicate and so thought through that I didn't want to to do too much uh, or to uh, I didn't it felt perfect the way it is, and I said to him. Uh, before the shooting, we we just need to uh, we we don't we, we what did I say? Uh, we we have to to watch that we don't ruin it. The script. You that think? was yeah, yeah. the script. Right. Yeah. Um, I mean, you you mentioned we're watching these people from a distance, and I feel like mm -hmm. for a lot of the movie, the camera does stay back further than you might okay. expect we're we're seeing characters from the next room or we're seeing a conversation where you know each of them are partly obscured um okay. was was that always a part of your you know your your vision for what the film would would look and feel like yes 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 you know i sometimes i have like different associations about it you know i one one of this was like the feeling when something happens on the other side of the street, you know, when you are walking and suddenly somebody falls down, you know, then you just stop and look, you know, and there's some kind of distance, you know, you don't have, you, you don't want to intervene, you may be afraid, maybe then you do something, but the first is like this shock and this watching from the distance. So somehow we try to recreate this feeling just, you know, to make it this look, this short look persistent, you know, and we also try somehow the, to catch the characters in the shot, you know, to catch it, you know, between the, um, also the, the whole film is shot with, with um, lenses that they have like no deep field. So somehow the characters are, are caught between the, like the, the shot in this way, but also in the depth. It's all, you know, they, they don't have to, they, they cannot move in the shot. So that, I think this reflects very good the situation they're in, you know. So um, that was like the, uh, when I was thinking about it. And also like my first visual um, impressions, what I thought what the film should look like was um, this small, you know, um, small people on architectural, I have a picture on it, of it, uh, this is, my hand and you see these little characters you know mm -hmm. so that was like um my impressions how 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 it should feel you know uh, like little people somehow lost you know in a shot you know lost because they are somehow mm, yeah it there is something that is bigger than them you know that was like the feeling that we tried to create in a way yeah 
Yeah. Right. You, you also mentioned the scene early in the film, and I think it's a fascinating scene where suddenly we we think we're watching a conversation between the, the two characters and suddenly yeah. it becomes clear that it's a conversation about mm. the movie that we're watching. Mm. We're stepping outside the movie yeah. to talk about the movie and and, right. and the real event. I mean, what yeah. was... Um, you know, it. I mean, it's it's such an interesting thing to right. drop into the first section of the, of the film. What was right. your thinking on on that? Um, you know, I as I said, I try in the in the structure somehow to damage the structure. You know, so I think, you know, in which way you can damage the structure. You know, and then I found I I tried to find a very raw 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 kind of damage. You know, you know, it could also be a voiceover sign, but it's. It was, I felt all too baroque in a way, you know. Mm -hmm. And then I came to this, okay, we just have to drop this fourth wall, you know. Goran looks in the camera, you know, and said, why are you doing this, you know. So um, so that was like the reason to damage it. But also, you know, from that moment on, I think you can watch the, it's like a crossroad, how you can watch the movie, you know, further. I think from that part, that that moment, some people watch the movie like, how you can deal with your own trauma because they know I'm the author, you know, and you can yeah. also look at like fiction, but you then you watch it also like a, a requiem for that family, you know, it's not just action, you know, you know how it will end, you know, and so I, I think it really enriches um, the the viewing of the movie, you know, and my only dilemma was should it be, should it appear again, you know, but then I thought, then it will not be the wound in the script, in the script, in the movie. Then it be, then it will become the tissue of it, you know. Then it will be, you know, it will. It, then it's no rift if it's. And somehow the whole film is in a way about something that that life is not symmetrical, you know. So I didn't want any symmetry in the movie, you know, symmetry in a way that every. 10 minutes like this meta moment drops in that would be kind of stupid i think you know so yeah so so when i say not symmetrical because in the movie we really try something but we don't succeed you know it's not symmetrical you know so you know so life is not symmetrical so i don't know that's like the topic of the film so this the the form also should not be symmetrical yeah i think that's at the, the end yeah 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 goran for you i mean was that do you have to shift something in what you're doing when when suddenly you know in a way you're playing yourself rather than playing the character for a few minutes um at the time when we were shooting it and uh, when we were rehearsing it uh i didn't thought it like that i i just looked at him like he's my friend like he's my brother and i was happy to see him and uh and the other stuff that were you know, I had to do as, as my character, but now uh, when I look the, at the movie, something uh, I just realized that yesterday I watched the movie uh, six times by now, and I can watch it again and again, uh, and that never happened to me before. Uh, and I realized that it's because I don't feel like it's me. It sounds a bit corny, <laughs> but. Uh, I really don't feel it, and especially in that scene. Uh, when I'm watching it, uh, I feel some uh, a, a deep comfort uh, uh, comes over me when I'm watching it. Uh, watching it, and that's why probably I can I can watch it again and again. And I need to watch it. It's it's an, it's, an, it's almost an urge to 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 watch it. Yeah. What I find uh, interesting that Goran, you forget it, Goran, but Goran says when we were like doing the scene, he says, uh, I'm playing it now like I'm on the other side in a way, you know, it's not in a religious way, other side, but you know, mm -hmm. he's looking for onto into me, you know, but from another position, you know, and from that position, you know, he's maybe more relaxed, you know, so <laughs> it was, it, it he, there's something magical about it, how he, that position from which he plays the, the thing. I, yes. the, I, I, was the even, yeah. thing yeah. I even talked about how those problems that he's having as my yeah. brother 
were a bit funny to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. from that position in a way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah right. I mean, for for both of you, were there any any particular scenes or aspects of this production that you you found the most most challenging? So, what was hard to me, uh, Goran said once to me that uh, actor says um, that what's for him the hardest thing is after those emotional uh, scenes, somehow your mind knows that it was fiction but uh, and your brain but your body doesn't know because like your body really produced some adrenaline and some cortisol and all those hormones and then you say okay stop you know let's do let's make lunch or something you know and your body is somehow confused so for me uh, because i'm not an actor it was really something new and i think also because my body somehow remembers those stressful period for my brother's uh, illness and death somehow then it connects in this emotional scene so every emotional really emotional scene those where goran you know injured himself or where damir injures himself or when i'm talking to him in the room and you know i really realize that he is like uh, not that i cannot connect with him anymore that he's like you know really getting deeper in the psychosis that was hard for me you know i have somehow i was i i felt i did not i didn't i didn't know what happens you know but i was somehow you know yeah i was not feeling well to put it very simple yeah <laughs> yeah yes. i think uh, alan rickman was the actor um, who said it i i saw him in, in an interview and he said i mean you're not crazy to that point that that you don't understand that that what you're doing is not real you see other people on the set, you, you kind of you know it. But the problem is your body doesn't know it. You, go, you put your body through all that stuff like it, it's for real. You, you're doing your best to, to, to do it like it's for real. And then yeah. the problems come after. Uh, for, me, oh, yeah. for me also, those, uh, those scenes, as Yura said, uh, the most every emotional scene with him was uh, challenging and uh, also the thing that you know that uh, he he's been through them so i kind of have uh, had to uh, force myself to not think about it uh, so much because uh, maybe uh, I, I would try to uh, hold on hold back a little bit or something and I had to go out of my head and not thinking so much about uh, those those stuff that he is the one that got it. It come it's it become very uh, complicated to to think about uh, it. So I, I I've had to force force myself not to think about those stuff that he's the guy. He he was my brother at that moment, at that time and place and that shit it wasn't also easy to be in that state uh, through the whole sh shoot shooting p period mm -hmm. to hold that th those kind of thoughts and to uh, evolve them during the end to have an arch in that uh, illness that was something uh, that was uh, not not easy because uh, I mean if we shoot twelve twelve hours a day, uh, and to to think about those kind of stuff all the time is pretty. Um, yeah, but when you look look how you read does it, then you kind of also don't think about it. you go you you throw yourself and those. Thinking moments come actually after the sheet sheeting. Yeah, um, I mean, Yuri, as someone who has been through this in in the family, I mean, do you think that movies can can play a part in in you know in the discussion of, of issues of mental health? And I, I didn't believe it, you know. Uh, I think it's really a political thing in Croatia for for sure because it's about it how much you know uh, the 
the government invests in public health, you know, and Croatia, it's not really a good situation. But what I now realize uh, in the discussions with the audience, I have the feeling uh, that maybe something happens about uh, the shame, you know, because people are usually ashamed of it, of the, of the, of the illness, of the psycho psychological illness of the family members, you know. When you have cancer, then you say, oh, you know, my mother have cancer, you talk about it, you know, but when someone has schizophrenia or something like that, people really don't talk about it, you know. So, so I had the, the feeling after the screenings, people came at least to me and talk about it, you know, said, I have experience like that, you know, and I, I, and I felt, you know, they were crying or they were like, so I, so I have the feeling that maybe something happens in a way, okay, if he has done a movie about it, you know, then maybe it's not a shame, you know, something like that. I have, for now, I have the feeling that is, that could be some kind of impact for someone, you know, mm -hmm. so... Yeah, that would be that would be the 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 the, the answer of your question. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 a good starting point for sure uh, to mm -hmm. to at least to open up about because it really those things happen to me also after screenings. So many people come to you and said, "Oh, I have a brother yeah. that has issues. I have a mother that had issues. Me, yeah. I I de dealt with depression. I'm dealing with depression." And you kind of see that uh, it's a pretty uh, common thing. Mm -hmm. And it's just that people are scared or ashamed, as you guys said, to talk about it. And this movie uh, is a good starting point to talk, to start to talk about it. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. Because uh, just to say one thing, when you look at the facts, you know, about suicide, I don't know the... The numbers in America, but in Germany, you know, there are per year ten thousand people uh, died, you know, from suicide, and uh, five hundred, five five thousand in a car accidents, you know. So it's just to put it in a relation, you know. So ten thousand to five thousand. So it's really, it's really a, a topic that is somehow not like treated in a way it should be. It you know you don't have the feeling that it's such a huge problem, but uh, I think it is. Well, yeah. 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 I mean, what, is, what does it mean for you that a film about this subject is now in the Oscar race? Um, I don't know. I'm glad about it. I don't know what to say, you know. So, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to say, you know. So, I have the feeling that it. Um, I'm happy we really um, got through in Locarno, you know. We got, like, three awards. So somehow I think there was like a wind in our backs and somehow that was like a thing, okay, look at this movie, you know, because I think the first feeling is it's a movie about suicide, you know, oh, go, better not watch it, you know, <laughs> something like that. I even remember the first sales, sales agents, you know, they told to me when they saw the synopsis, they say, oh, you know, it's, it's, it's like it's, it's, it's great, but you know, there's suicide in the synopsis or death. Could you change it? You know, could you, you know, you know, because it's sometimes, you know, so, so, so I'm, I'm happy that it's in the Oscar race and I'm really interested, you know, what will, um, comes out. And in Croatia, it's, uh, it got another, um, like, um, push with this that it's in the Oscar competition. So, so it's great. Yeah. yeah. Right. Well, I think on, on that note, we can we can wind things up here. But, um, you know, thank you. Thank you guys for joining us. Um, for the audience that's been watching, thank you for joining us. Um, you can also take advantage of our free trial to Rap Pro to be the first to know about upcoming screenings and events. And you can register for upcoming screenings or catch up on past ones you may have missed by visiting the rap.com and clicking on the screening tab. Um, so you're right. Goran, thank you. Thank you very much thank for you. Uh, thank you, you know, for, for a powerful film and for talking about it with us.